Hi, I'm Tyler McGarity, Technical Account Manager at Geospatial Experts, and I'm going to talk to you about hooking up an external Bluetooth GPS unit to an Android device for use with your location-based apps. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is you need an app that will replace the location services information with the information that's coming from one of the external units. Uh, in this case, Bluetooth GPS is the app that we use. Uh, a lot of people use this. It works really well. It's free. So download Bluetooth GPS from the Play Store. Once you've downloaded Bluetooth GPS from the Play Store, we can move on to the uh, next sections here. First things that you're going to want to do is go into Settings and come down here and enable developer options. Uh, we're going to need to do that so that we can tell developer op so that developer options can tell uh, the location services that it's okay to use a mock location provider. Uh, that's what they call the external units. So in this case, we'll go into the about the phone, go down to build number. You're going to click it about 10 times. Uh, you'll see it start to do a countdown and then it will tell you you are a developer. Once you do that, you can go into developer options and we can scroll down here. Um, you can see there's a select mock location app. We've already installed Bluetooth GPS, so it's default to that. So uh, we have the uh, developer options on. We're using a mock location with Bluetooth GPS app. Next thing we're going to want to do is actually connect our external Bluetooth unit. So we're going to want to turn that on. Uh, I've got a global sat Bluetooth GPS puck. We're going to come down in here and go into Bluetooth, uh, go into more settings, let Bluetooth scan here. Uh, it's seeing the MAC address of this external unit. Uh, I can click it and connect to it, Bluetooth GPS unit. The uh, pass on these are zero, 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 zero. So now I've connected to that external Bluetooth GPS unit. Uh, I have the, uh, the phone set up to allow mock locations. I have the external unit hooked up to the phone. And now I just need to have something that bridges that. And that is where the app we downloaded comes into play, uh, Bluetooth GPS. So you see I can come into Bluetooth GPS here. There's a little checkbox. You'll check that to enable mock GPS provider. And then it already lists here. Uh, you could have multiple Bluetooth units, obviously, uh, but it already lists here the one that we have just connected to. So if I say connect, it's going to uh, enable the mock provider. You'll get a little notification in your dropdown saying that a mock provider has been enabled. And you can see here it's now providing lat and long uh, coordinates from this external unit. You can scroll over and see how many satellites you're tracking, what the accuracy it's reporting. You can even look at the actual uh, NEMA data that's coming off of the device so the, that you can make sure that it's working right. So that's all working right. Now we have this all set up. So now we can go into uh, one of our location-based apps, uh, in this case, GeoJot. I launched GeoJot for Android here. It'll go directly to the camera screen. And from there, you can see uh, we're getting a GPS accuracy, plus or minus 8 feet. Uh, that's pretty good for inside a building. Normally, uh, we would not do that well if we were just using the GPS units inside of the phones. Uh, the GPS units inside of the phones are, are decent for some work, but they are uh, limited into the kind of accuracy. You really get three to five meters. Uh, these external pucks, uh, like these ones, just a, 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 a inexpensive external one, can do about 2.5 meters. And you can go up as high as centimeter grade accuracy uh, with units that support real-time correction. Uh, like the uh, GNSS Surveyor by Bad Elf or the uh, uh, Trimble units like the R1 or the R2. Uh, but that's what you need to do to set them up so that they'll provide that, and they'll provide that location data to any location app. So it's providing that external GPS signal to Google Maps or here or any other thing I'm using that, that is looking for location services. Uh, and that's how you set it up to work with the GeoJot app. Thank you.